Hello, uh, my name is Danielle. I am your Thursday girl. I am 25 and live in Southern California. I've been here for the majority of my life. I am in a relationship with Lex. Uh, he's my boyfriend of two years and quite possibly the most amazing being on the earth. <laughs> um, I guess a little bit about myself. I grew up in the suburbs here and it was a very conservative um, situation with, uh, you know, the classic American dream, husband, wife, two kids and a dog kind of situation. Uh, not a lot of diversity, not a lot of difference in, um, you know, ethnically or um, in gender identity or sexuality. And so uh, it was a very sheltered upbringing. I was raised fairly ignorant of anything beyond, um, you know, the cisgender heterosexual life. So I, uh, as a result, kind of felt that I was um, straight because I had to be straight and there was no other option to it. Um, I'm also what most people call the late bloomer. I did not date until I moved away from my parents' house and went to college. Um, I have dated both men and women um, and have found that, at least for me, my sexuality has been evolving, um, changing as my mind kind of grows and expands to uh, realize that there's more out there beyond the binary. So at this point, I would probably classify myself as pansexual. Um, Lex and I do have a cat together, Sebastian. You'll probably see him roaming around somewhere or hear his bell. He's also very talkative, so uh, please bear with me as um, he will probably derail my conversation at more than one point uh, throughout the time that I've, you know, talking with you. So, um... Why I'm doing this vlog, uh, when I met Lex, he was already in transition. Um, he had been on testosterone for about mm, three years at the time that uh, one of my friends introduced me to him. And um, we just had an instant connection. We had, um, we had a very instant chemistry. Uh, we knew we were kind of meant for each other, <laughs> and uh, I was with someone at the time, which made things a little bit awkward, but that relationship dissolved rather organically, and we got together, um, but Lex had not had uh, chest surgery yet, and so we have spent the last two years in preparation for said surgery. He's about four weeks out of... Um, He's four weeks post-op with Dr. Garamoni, and uh, I found myself going through a number of feelings while um, preparing for surgery with him, and uh, I realized that there wasn't really too much of a community out there, I guess, or um, I was having a difficult time finding community um, to reach out to for support on that. It was, um, you know, there's a lot for him definitely, and uh, which is excellent, which is great. Um, but uh, this is why I've kind of joined this group, to put my voice out there and just kind of create an open discussion about um, what it's like to be in a relationship with someone uh, who is transgender. And um, that's really about all. <laughs> uh, yeah, sexuality and all of that will definitely cover, I'm sure, in a future topic. Um, but I, I kind of tend to have a hard time talking about myself. So I am an open book. If you do have any questions or anything like that, please feel free to reach out. I'm more than happy to answer them. Um, I'm just a little bit shy at first, I guess. And this is definitely my first time blogging or vlogging. So... Uh, bear with me also on that, and uh, hopefully I'll have better um, camera resolution for future videos. I am filming at night. Uh, I work in um, workers' compensation, and I was recently promoted, so it's uh, been a very busy, hectic last couple weeks, to say the least, um, which is why this is kind of a uh, 
a rushed video towards the end of my day. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for subscribing and listening to my rant, <laughs> or babble, I guess. And I look forward to talking to everyone soon. Thanks. Bye.